Well, it's the sample question. <coughs> sample diagram to find the current going through each resistor and the potential difference across each resistor. So step one, and you have the notes there somewhere, step one. So step one is always find the total resistance. So the first thing we must do is add these two guys in parallel. And because they're in parallel, the formula is 1 over R. So the two resistors are 5 and 6. Is 1 over 5 plus 1 over 6. My common denominator is 30. 5 into 30 goes 6 times. 6 into 30 goes 5 times. So it's 11 over 30. So 1 over 5, 6 is 11 over 30. This implies that the resistance, which is the bit that everybody forgets about, is equal to? 30 over 11. 30 over 11. Okay, remember, if they're in parallel, you've got to re you've got to invert this to get that guy here. So now you have the resistance of the 5, 6, and what must I do with that? Add it to the 7. Plus the resistance of the 7. So it's equal to 30 over 11 plus 7. And 11 sevens are 77, so it's like 77 over... 11 plus 30, what is it? 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 
it's a little bit, the analogy breaks down here because the one with the greater resistance will have the greater or less current? Less. It'll have the less current, so the analogy breaks down to that extent. Basically, the resistor acts as a barrier, which you can see that the current breaks on. Why does the voltage not break on? And here's what you've got to look at it sort of mathematically. The voltage or the potential difference is the work done bringing charge from one place to another. Now, I know that the voltage across the 5 is going to equal, I should say potential difference, is equal to the voltage across the 6, is equal to, and if I call those two points, you're picking up on this, Karina? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I can say that's equal to the voltage between A and B. Now, that does seem to be unusual. Why does it seem to be unusual? Why would you Just think the voltage... Why, like why does it seem strange if I say the potential difference is the same there and there? Yeah, that's what I mean. And then it still changes for the sound. Right. Potential difference is a measure of the work done in going from one place to another. Now, looking at those two, which would require, would you think, the greater amount of work? The six. The six. <coughs> Why? Because it's got a higher resistance. It's got a higher resistance. But the resistance doesn't matter for the uh, potential difference. It only matters for the current. Like, how you the current? It will have... Well, okay, the, the resistance is fixed. But if I want to know the potential difference done across it, back to you, Jan, the very thing you must work out the potential difference across each of these, you look at the resistance, but you also look at, what else? The current. The current. The oh, current. It's got less current. So if it's got a greater resistance, it'll have a less uh, well, current. It's, it's proportional. Well, one is inversely proportional to the other. If the resistance is two times greater, you'll find there's, if that resistance is two times greater than that, you'd find there's two times less current from there to there. So you're not, so you're doing work to bring it from there to there, but you're bringing less charge from there to there. Let's just double check and may put numbers in these. Let's say that's 2 and that's 4. There will be twice as much current going through this one. So while it's easier to go through the 2 ohm resistor, I would be bringing twice as many amps or twice as many coulombs per second. And a coulomb per second is an amp. So I'd be bringing twice as much current across the top as I will across the bottom. So the two effects cancel each other out and that's why the voltage will be the same. So that's why your voltage is the same if they're in parallel. The current is different because you're going to get more current going through one resistor than through the other. With the 5 on top and the 6 on the bottom? Yeah. 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 Okay. Now let's just have a little aside. I was going to talk about this at some stage. If you have two resistors in series, and one of the things I will do if we get a chance today, or if not at the beginning of the next class, is derive the formula for these guys in parallel and these guys in series. Is this parallel or series? Series. Okay, so let's look at voltage and current here. Is the current going to be constant going through all of this? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, again, it's like current going around, water going around a circuit. It can't break up anywhere. Remember we used the, the uh, Mondello Park analogy? It's like a full set of cars the whole way around. So it can't be slower in one position than anywhere else. So the current is the same. Now the question is, why might the potential difference be different between A and B? and between B and C. Because they're the same because amount of charge across, so why would the potential difference be different? Because the resistance. Because the resistance changed, but the current doesn't change, and because the, the two of them make, well, make the potential difference. Yeah, the potential difference, to work a potential difference, is to work done in bringing charge from one place to another. So it depends on two things. It depends on how much charge you're bringing, which is the same in both cases. I'm bringing the same amount of charge from there to there, as I am from there to there. But I have to do much greater work to get it through. Which of the two resistors? Second. The second one. In fact, I'll have to do twice as much work to get it through the second one. So the potential difference of the second one would be twice as big as the potential of the first one. Is because it's then, because the inverse proportional matter, whenever you multiply them, that goes the same answer? Back over here. Yeah. Yeah, for that part, yeah. That's exactly it. Because you might get your, if the resistance is twice as much, you get twice as less, less current. Not very well expressed in English terms, but that's it. Slightly better, Jan? Yeah, slightly better. At least, if nothing else, you can now take that away and think about it and then come back with more specific questions. So, in general terms. So, back we go. That always becomes an issue for anyone and everyone. Very few people would sort that out for themselves. Right? So, it's worthwhile going over it. So, back to here. I am now still trying to finish off the question. So I want to find the potential difference across here. So I'd say V is equal to I multiplied by R. So